Hey everybody, welcome to number 47. I think you know what that number means. 47 is a good number. It's a number we're looking for this year, but it's the 47th episode of Laura Trump Wanted for Questioning. It will also be uh, which president we are going to be inaugurating just over a year from now. It'll be the 47th president of the United States. I believe it'll be Donald J. Trump. Let's do that. Let's go forward towards November 5th and then, of course, January of 2025. Here we go. Let's see what we got today. Question number one. Oh, when are you coming to Iowa? Well, we're five days away from the Iowa caucuses. This is a big deal. First of all, folks in Iowa, I hope you know about the caucuses. People everywhere else across this country who aren't aware, this is where the election of Donald Trump begins. It it begins in Iowa. This is the kickoff to the entire election season. This is the first place in the entire country, the state of Iowa, that voters get to opine on who they want to be president of the United States. Now, this is a caucus, which uh, is sort of like a primary, but it is called a caucus. It is a gathering of people and they gather in their various locations around the state of Iowa. You get to hear from different campaigns, some of them directly from the candidates themselves. And then there's a vote that is taken in each of these caucus locations. And at the end of that day, at the end of January 15th, again, five days from now, very exciting, we will know who the folks in Iowa want to see as their Republican nominee for president of the United States. Now, obviously, Donald Trump is head and shoulders above anybody else in the GOP field, but we're not leaving anything to chance. So you're going to see us from the Trump family coming out there to Iowa. My husband was just there. We are all going to, uh, I think all of us are going to come on uh, January 15th. We're going to be flying out. You may see us in your caucus location, so pay attention. And and then that's it. We hit the ground running. We go from there and we go all the way to November 5th, where we're going to reelect Donald Trump as president of the United States. So I'll see you in Iowa in five days. I hope you guys are ready. I guess I better pre- prepare because it's pretty nice here in South Florida. I feel like the weather in Iowa, I better be checking. I'm going to get my coat, get my gloves, get my hat ready to caucus. Here we come. Okay. Next question. Oh, what was your favorite memory from the 2016 caucus? This was an, it was, it was such an experience. So you have to think back to 2016 and remember that we had no experience whatsoever. Anybody in our family in politics, including my father-in-law, We were a very green, shall we say, campaign. Um, We really didn't know what fully to expect when we got to Iowa. And nobody really prepped any of us. Maybe they prepped my father-in-law, but nobody prepped us as the kids as to what to expect when we got there. So we arrive in Iowa and people are like, okay, uh, Eric, you're going to this location. Laura, you're going to this location. And you guys are just going to kind of uh, speak in front of audiences of hundreds of people. Just kind of talk about... uh, Talk about your dad. Talk about your father-in-law. Why people should vote for him. We were just like, oh, this is the first first of it, uh, that experience for us. We'd never done something like that before. Meanwhile, I show up at one location, and I think it was Ted Cruz himself was like at the location with me, the actual candidate running. And I was like, oh my god, this is crazy. Meanwhile, it was at a school. So there were several different caucuses within this one school. One was in the gymnasium, one was in the cafeteria, one was in some sort of a big like theater assembly room. And there were only two of us there, it was me and Eric. So we were like, oh my gosh, if they, and they, they just randomly would pull your name out of the hat to start talking. So if I had to go at this one, but then they pulled Donald Trump's name out of a hat in the one in the theater, but Eric was in the cafeteria, we were like, this is crazy. It was such a unique experience. I will say I got to canvas pretty much the entire state of Iowa leading up to those caucuses. Eric and I drove around the state. I mean, gosh, I think we spent an entire day driving around Iowa. And I'll tell you what I remember. I remember the pizza ranches. If you live in Iowa, you know what I'm talking about. These pizza ranches are all over the place. We went to a lot of pizza ranches, met a lot of people there, heard a lot of stories. And um, I will never forget it. It was really our first true experience on the campaign trail because this is where it starts it all starts in iowa um 
again, five days from right now, but um, 2016, that was really a unique uh, situation for all of us. And then if you remember, my father-in-law actually came in second. I think Ted Cruz won the Iowa caucuses. And we were like, oh, we better get it together. We better actually like get people involved who have done this sort of thing before because we were just kind of figuring a lot of it out. And uh, it, I think it was a good kind of supercharger for the campaign actually losing. Sometimes that's how it works out. If you don't win immediately, then you kind of have to work a little bit harder. And I think maybe it's one of the reasons that we kind of were just like jet propelled from there on out as a campaign. Um, but I'll never forget that first time in Iowa. So we're excited to come back. We'll see you there soon for, God, if you can believe it, for round three. Oh my gosh. Amazing. Okay. Next question. Another Iowa question. We're, we're going all in on Iowa today. Best thing you ever ate in Iowa. All right. I'll be honest with you. I didn't eat it, but my memory of this is so vivid. I forget exact, exactly where it was. It may have been in like the state capitol, like the capitol building or something, but we went and there was like a breakfast there. And I'm talking like early in the morning. This is like eight o'clock in the morning. And I'm not even joking. I looked over and there was in some sort of like a silver giant chalice, like chafing dish type situation, a vat of like cheese at like eight o'clock in the morning. And I was like, wow, that's a lot of cheese. It's kind of early for me for cheese. I mean, maybe throwing in some eggs or I don't know, on some sort of like a hash brown type thing. Maybe I could get into it, but just like a vat of cheese at 8 a.m., not not really something that I would get involved with. I don't know. Maybe that's something I should try this time around if the cheese is there and it's available. But I do remember looking over and I was like, it's a lot of cheese. Um, I didn't actually eat that cheese per se, but that is my one food food memory outside of the pizza ranches of when we were in Iowa. Um, I swear Eric was with me. I got to ask him about this cheese. There could be possibly, I'll have to look through my photos. I may or may not have taken a photo of this cheese because I was like, man, 8 a.m., a lot of cheese. I don't know. We'll report back on that. Check it out. Okay, next question. Do you really think Donald Trump can win a general election? That's the excuse I keep hearing from the establishment. Well, first of all, why are you listening to anyone in the establishment? Really? Have you not learned your lesson by listening to anyone in the establishment? These people don't represent any form of reality whatsoever out there. You should know better than that. Yes. Absolutely, I think Donald Trump can win a general election. What do you think? We're all here just spinning our wheels for the heck of it. I think he has to win. I think this country is dependent upon this one man becoming president of the United States again. There's a reason. There's an all-out, full-fledged effort to keep him, this one person, out of the White House. And the effort is not just coming from folks on the left. It's also coming from folks within the Republican Party who are part of the establishment. Wow, amazing how that works, isn't it? Um, look, here's the reality. We have a very small window of time in which to rectify the damage that has been done to this country and honestly, the entire world as a result of Joe Biden being president of the United States. Make no mistake about it, that was a calculated, concerted plan from the jump for these establishment folks, they love a Joe Biden. They love a guy who's been in politics longer than I've been alive. They love a guy who's got multiple houses, although we know the salary of someone who is a senator and vice president of the United States, not that high. Where's all the money coming from, Joe? Oh, wait, 10% for the big guy. Got it. They love somebody like that because they can control him. Here's who they don't love. They don't love a Donald Trump. Why? Because Donald Trump doesn't give two flips about any of those establishment folks. He cannot be controlled. He cannot be bought and paid for. He is the only president to leave the White House with less money in his bank account than when he went in the White House. That is a cold, hard fact. Look it up. And because of that, we need him back. We need someone who is only doing what he believes is best for we, the people. Someone who doesn't care what kind of heat he's going to take from these folks in Washington, D.C. He's going to do what he knows is best for the country and for the future of this country. That is why Donald Trump has to be the one 
Yes, I believe he can win. And I think he has to win. So that is why we are going uh, like a full assault on the entire system as we approach November 5th. We're taking it by land, air, and sea. As they say, we're doing it all. We are ballot harvesting everywhere it is legal. We have eyes and boots on the ground in every polling location across this country. No funny business, no need for any ballots in suitcases. Still don't really know why you would ever need that. We're not doing that. Again, we're not doing a mail-in situation. Again, we're winning this thing and we're gonna have to win it so big that it doesn't matter how many 3 a.m. dumps they do, Donald Trump will still become president of the United States in January of 2025. So yes, I believe he can win. <clears throat> next question how do i find out where to vote in the caucuses okay if you live in the state of iowa i want you to pay close attention this is your civic duty this is your duty not just as a, a person who lives in the state of iowa but as an american citizen we got to get donald trump so big blowing out these iowa caucuses that these other people are like enough well, let's fold up shop Ron DeSantis, fold up shop. Nikki Haley, fold up shop. God bless him. Vivek Ramaswamy, fold up shop. None of these people have a shot. Now, we know Chris Christie will probably hang in there to the last second. I don't know um, who's funding his campaign, but whoever it is really doesn't like Donald Trump. And let's face it, Chris Christie's happy to take that money and try to knock Donald Trump at every possible turn. So he'll probably hang in there. But the rest of them, fold up shop. And then let's get our money behind the guy who we know is the Republican nominee, Donald Trump, the guy who's going to go out and beat Joe Biden. Uh, if you live in the state of Iowa and you don't know where your caucus location is, iowacaucus.gop, iowacaucus dot gop. You can go there. It'll tell you exactly where your caucus location is. I want to see you there. I'm coming there. Eric is coming there. Donald Trump is going to be there. Don Jr. is going to be there. Kimberly Guilfoyle is going to be there. The whole, we're, we're taking Iowa. We're taking it by storm. And so we want to see you there. We want to see you at these caucus locations. Let's win this thing so big in Iowa. The rest of these people are like, ah, enough. I don't know why I'm spending my wheels in doing this. Let's all get behind Donald Trump and let's go win this thing on November 5th. So um, I'm excited. The next time we do a Q&A episode, it'll be post Iowa caucuses. And um, I think it's going to be really incredible. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. I hope America is excited because this is the year, folks. This is the year we take our country back. God bless us all as we head towards November 5th. But I'll see you in Iowa in five days. All right. And that's going to do it for us here for this episode of Laura Trump Wanted for Questioning. I love all the Iowa-based questions. Very timely. Like how you did that out there. Send us more questions you can ask me about anything going on in this campaign season. Ask me about my New Year's Eve dress again. Love talking about all of that. Um, you can post under this episode. You can go to any of our social media at The Right View, at Laura Lee Trump everywhere. Of course, you can find me. And until next time, we'll see you back here for more of Laura Trump, Wanted for Questioning. Nothing is worse than being on a phone call that drops. Nothing is worse than trying to text someone and you can't reach them because your phone is out of service range. And nothing is worse than supporting these major corporations and companies who don't support us. That is why I love Patriot Mobile. They are America's only Christian conservative wireless network. They use every cell tower out there available to all networks so that they have the greatest 4G and 5G coverage nationwide, and they support the causes that are important to us as conservatives. If you go today to patriotmobile.com slash Laura Trump and use the promo code Trump, you will get free activation today. Again, that is patriotmobile.com slash Laura Trump. The promo code is Trump for free activation so that you can get a great sell plan and feel good about doing it. So I'm like a lot of people. I love to wear an Apple Watch, but I hate how it looks. And I scoured the internet to search for the best looking Apple Watch cases I could find, and I found it. 
goldandcherry.com. They have absolutely beautiful watches, as you can see here. Everything is waterproof. Everything looks good with different outfits. You can get sporty, you can get fancy, but they are great quality, uh, made out of Delaware in the United States of America. And they have been kind enough to give me a promo code that I can share with you if you wanna get your hands on one of these as well. It's Lara T, L-A-R-A-T is the promo code to get yourself a discount at goldandcherry.com. And not only do they make Apple Watch cases, they also make great products for iPads and iPhones, keyboards, your desktop, everything you could possibly need. Goldandcherry.com. Use promo code Lara T so you can get yourself one of these today too. At the right view, uh, we're very proud of the fact that we are independent. We get to say Everything that we think and everything that we feel, we have no woke companies guiding us or telling us what we can and cannot say. We are always gonna shoot you straight and give you the facts as we know them. And that's why it's important to support independent uh, outlets like The Right View. My name is Lara Trump and I think Mike Lindell is a patriot. He is someone who loves this country, is willing to fight for this country. Um, I love my pillow because not only are my pillows made in the USA by American workers, uh, but they're great products and they're so great that not only do I use them in my own bed at night, my children actually requested my daughter the other day went to the closet and pulled out a my pillow and said, "This is the pillow that I want to sleep with." And I got to tell you, she loves it and will have nothing to do with any other pillow. So it's a big hit around our house. My dogs also uh, happen to sleep on my pillow dog beds. So all around the Trump household, we're big fans. If you go to mypillow.com today and use promo code Trump again, promo code Trump. You will not only save money, but you will help us continue this show and other shows like it and help us continue the fight for the future of America. Inflation has impacted all of our lives. I don't think anyone can go to the gas pump or the grocery store without noticing that it is a major factor. And unfortunately, it's not going anywhere. It doesn't seem like it's going down in the way that we would like it to. And one way to protect your money is by investing in precious metals, uh, gold and silver. That's always been a great way to make sure that you keep your money and you keep it safe. When you go to bh-pm.com, use promo code TRUMP. That way, if you decide you want to invest in gold and silver, you'll save yourself a little bit of money. We live in a time that's very interesting. A lot of us out there feel like a lot of our rights are slipping away. And if you're like I am and you want to have the right to choose whether or not to have a vaccine, how to live your life freely, and you're looking for a great doctor, I've heard amazing things about Dr. Sherwood. He's somebody who you should really check out and check into, um, and it'll help support this program and keep us going. So go to Sherwood.tv and use promo code Trump. Again, Sherwood.tv and use promo code Trump. You can save yourself some money and help us keep our program going.